This afternoon, one local grandmother is turning her hobby into a passion to help premature babies. That's right. According to the March of Dimes, one in nine babies is born premature here in Georgia. So she saw her grandson born prematurely and decided to help the other babies in their families, giving them a piece of comfort in a tough time. 11 Alive's Aisha Howard shows us how one small gesture really can go a long way. For many families, this is what the beginning of a baby's life looks like after entering the world too soon. Inside an isolate, parents only able to slide their hands through for the gentlest touch. The time is limited. Parents go home, leaving their little one behind in the neonatal intensive care unit. Sadly, little Fio's stay was all but brief. He was in the hospital for 133 days and my husband and I were there for 132 of those days. So for the longest time, we couldn't even touch him. We couldn't hold him. All we could do was just sit next to him. In the midst of all the monitors, cords, and gadgets, Grandma Stacy Nichols noticed a piece of comfort that was always there. Zoom in, there it is. This handmade blanket used to cover the isolate, keeping the light out while holding in all the components that make baby feel like they're still in the womb. And I noticed when the families were leaving, they were allowed to take that special blanket with them. And so I asked one of the nurses, where do these blankets come from? And, and she explained that they get together sometimes as groups and they just make the blankets. So when our grandson graduated from the NICU and we were able to take that blanket home, I, I just told my husband, I, I want to help them with this. And that's when Stacy birthed Project Snuggle. Family and church members get together to make the no sew blankets, but because the need is so great in our local hospitals, Stacy had to call in backup from her students at Stars Mill High School, where she works as a counseling secretary. So at our school, and we make the blankets, then we get them to the NICU Parent Club, and they get them cleaned and delivered to the hospitals. Life outside the NICU has led to good for Theo too, a thriving, swinging high toddler. Now to watch him, he's had several surgeries. He'll, he could have struggles for the rest of his life, but to watch him run on the playground and play, and he loves music, he just, he inspires me and he gives me hope. We love that. And if you so want to get sweet. involved, Stacy says that these blankets only take about an hour to make. Most people, she says, turn on their favorite show and just knock it out. If you would like to learn more about how you can help, reach out to Stacy. Get the email here. It's projectsnuggleblankets at gmail.com.